What's up guys, so um, this is a new game that I started playing. My buddy, one of my buddies um, actually recommended it to me and I've been like procrastinating on it but I actually just started playing it a little bit and I don't play Skylanders anymore. Uh, Pokemon, uh, not, I'm not taking like a break but I only recorded like late at night or early in the morning and um, Castle Clash I only play like 10 minutes a day or something so I kind of wanted to try it out and make like a quick video on it and it seems pretty fun um, you get a lot of gifts um, my friend gave me an account I didn't start like as a beginner or whatever so I do have um some characters that are not like beginner or whatever but at the same time like he what he is a free to play player he doesn't spend money on games as you can see like there's ultra rare limited rare and he just came over and was explaining some stuff to me um, I got this super rare Great Saiyan 1 and 2 and I also got um, what's his face this guy Hercule And oh shoot, let's see if I can actually. Since he was explaining it to me, like it's kind of like Castle Clash, but it's like way more. Well, I would say it's not easier, but it's like. It's kind of like a mix of like Castle Clash and um. Summoner's War, that's my like explanation for it because you do feed the same unit into the character and he does have a percentage chance, like do you see this big success? Um, there was a chance to increase his super attack level from 2 to 3 but it was only like a 3% chance so I'm not upset by it. And I'll get into um, one of the missions because my friend was telling me that I should do it. And I'll go into that mission. Yeah, that's this mission. And I'll go into it and I'll just show you like the gameplay of it. Um, I just, it's, I don't even know what I'm doing. I just pick whatever and then I just click start. This is the team that he pre-made for me. And let's just get into it. The only thing that I don't like about it was um, the game is like 4 gigabytes big. Which kind of sucks. We'll go this way because that, um, these little things give you a key. So it's good to grab those up. And now we have some key going into like the first I don't even know like um you have a chance to get attacked or a chance to get um Oh cosmetically I claim sweets You can get the Zini coin Zini coins are like in game currency that you can use to upgrade your units it's like, it's basically gold, like in, in Skylanders, how you have gold. But in this game, like, you get millions and millions of gold, like the Zini coins, for basically free. Even through friend points, you have a chance to get, like, super rare, super rare SSR um, statues that you can just sell for gold. And they get, like, for Zini coins, and they give you, like, 
all loads of it. And they're not stingy in this game at all. Like, my friend was telling me that um, there's going to be the four-year anniversary. And they're going to, last year in the four-year anniversary, they basically gave away like a thousand um, premium currency. Okay, so this one, uh, he was telling me that he's a, a neutral unit, so you can use basically whatever to attack. And uh, I think this dude is blue. You can see the circle, it's blue. And this guy is red, so it's better to use like red. And then they go in for their super attacks. And then, basically, um, training units is also kind of really easy as well, because um, you're basically just going up against, like, it's basically that puzzles and empires. It's basically kind of like that game, in my opinion. But it seems kind of easier, and it's like Dragon Ball Z, so it's like, there's more of a connection to it. Because it's basically kind of like a puzzle game. So we got um, cosmetic currency, whatever. And we finished the stage pretty easily. And we're done. We're done the star. Then you just skip. And we're done. And you don't have experience or whatever. You get th that um statue, whatever. That was a premium. And then in this stage, you can see there is. Three stages, normal, hard, and on the stage three, hard, you can get that sword as a training item, which you can use to train your unit, obviously, and you can just grind out the unit. So he was telling me to try and grab him up, so that's what I'm going to try and do, so I'll, I'll finish this up. And we'll just go for it. It's pretty easy, I think. And you do have stamina in this game, so that's one thing to take into consideration. Alright, so let's just see which path is better. So this path gives you a key right there, so we'll go for the key. Got the support item. We got the key for a good dude. And we can get that. Um, these capsules are basically training items. So it's good to grab them up. Awakening metal. Oh man, but we have to battle Piccolo now. And it's an automatic stop point. So basically, if we would have went through the other side, I'm assuming he wasn't there. So we wouldn't have gotten like the key or anything. Alright, so now you can see that all three of these are linked together so you can just move them around. And basically this is like the best combination with him in the middle because you can see that um you can see that they're linked. I'll just go like this and we need a blue one and I'll go like that
And they have like pretty nice animations. There's some Gohan stuff. It's pretty funny these animations. Dang, that's a lot of damage. And then there's Vegeta right there. Isn't that um, from the movie Super Saiyan God? I saw the movie, but I don't remember his name. It's almost something Piccolo had more HP or something. I don't know. We did get a support item from that. And basically, um, one thing my friend did tell me was, um, for those, um, super rare units that I was showing off that I grabbed that are, like, free-to-play, you want to, um, you want to increase their super attack all the way to 10. Because if you upgrade them to max and then you try to upgrade their skill, it has a lowered percentage chance of actually working. These guys, I don't think, are. Oh, wait, they're not like that. Yeah, so I think like this is the best, best way to go. And um, I would just go like this since do, these guys need red. And I think we kind of screwed Vegeta, but. I think he's fine with it since he got his max attack anyways. And my friend sends, says there's like a lot of good free to play units. And during like um, anniversary is the best time to start I've never been countered attack that's kind of weird And this, this unit is supposedly like really good. I'll oh, skip, I don't like to read it. So now there's like another, here we go. There is another one. He needs blue, but there's no. I think he got his um crit, whatever. So what actually? Perfect. And he needs red. That's how I was going for this. I really like this Gohan thing, it's hilarious. I don't know who that girl is though. But it's, re it's really hilarious. So I'm assuming we got um... I'm assuming we got a drop. The drops are random. So that's one thing that most people might not like. Like, um, the RNG drop.
But I don't really mind the. I actually prefer it. And let's see if I actually got the drop. And you see that dragon stone? That's the premium currency and we got um I don't know what this is and I don't know what this is. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but we got the character and that's all that really matters. And then when you're doing the So they shrunk it down to the size of peas. But basically, I think doing the third stage is the best one. The third stage on hard. So let me know what you think of this game. I don't know. Um, Let me just see really quickly because... I'm kind of confused how many of those guys I got. Okay, so I have to. So basically, you just put him in here and it'll increase his super attack level up by one. Yeah, my friend just told me. To get his super attack up to level 10 and at super SSR. It's worth it um, to do it because once you upgrade him up to like le to higher than SSR. Uh, it drops from a hundred percent guarantee level up to fifty percent, so it's kind of worth it just to do it um at this stage. Um, basically, all of these other units like N N quality or R quality, basically even um S R quality are pretty bad units. Only like S S R and limited. Rarity and ultra rare are the only good stuff that you should basically be keeping. Everything else kind of sucks. So, to be honest, I myself don't know what's good in this game or not. I still need to do like a lot of like understanding for that. But I'm just um I'm really liking it and I'm gonna keep playing it. Seems really fun. Um, auto chess. I still play it, but it's more of a casual game for me because there's no real, like, there is a lot of competition involved, but, like, the game is super laggy, I can't record while playing, and, um, there's no guilds, there's, it's basically, like, a solo game, like, Hearthstone or whatever, um, I don't know. The games are too long in my opinion. If the game were like 15 minutes or something, it'd be way worth it. But as it is right now, it's not really worth it because uh, it just takes forever. This game is more casual. If you play it by yourself, the same as Auto Chess. But I don't know, it's, it's way easier. And I don't know, it's pretty fun. Dragon Ball Z. You can't go wrong with that, right? So I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know what you think about it.